And we're with T.J. Maynard, the head football coach at Russell. And, T.J., I mean, we can't get too excited about 5-1, and one, but we can be excited about 5-1 and one a little bit. You, you, you're getting the program where you'd like to go. Well, I'm, I'm really excited where we're at at this point. But at the same time, you know, being excited to where we're at is nowhere near where we want to get. And, you know, we're not near satisfied. You know, obviously uh, a big part of that comes this Friday against Mason to, to knock off the reigning district champs and win a district championship. So that's kind of been our goal all year <clears throat> was to put ourselves in position for this. And now, you know, we're there in position. Now we just got to go make sure we take advantage of it. Mason County uh, got a little scared down at Lewis County uh, last Friday night. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of folks say if, they, if Lewis had been 100% healthy, they might have been able to take him. So, have you seen the film of that ball game? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, and obviously, Mason didn't play very well. Uh, but, again, sometimes when you're dealing with 16, 17, 18-year-old kids, uh, that could be for multiple reasons. They could have been looking ahead of this game. It could have been reading the papers about – the Fleming Lewis game where Fleming just beat Lewis pretty bad and they're looking ahead. So there's different things that apply there. I, I expect Coach Buchanan to make sure that his team has the full attention this week and of the Red Devils and I expect them to play really well. So it's gonna be a real tough game for us and I think our kids will be ready also. Again, you might have a sloppy track on uh, Friday night. Uh, it's supposed to rain again. Uh, you, as we talked, uh, not all the turnovers were as serious as they might have sounded, but nonetheless, you have to take care of the ball. Oh, obviously, uh, especially when you play good football teams. Uh, and about came back to haunt us there against Fleming County. Uh, but uh, again, the weather usually plays a factor in that, those things. And uh, turnovers on Friday night with a wet ball, and 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 our field in certain areas is not in great shape. So it's going to be really sloppy if we get all the rain they're forecasting. But uh, again, we got to make sure that we. Come focused, ready to go, be ready to play, make sure we get adjusted all their formations and take care of the football. But, again, I, from an effort standpoint, I don't think there will be an issue. Now, mentally and focused, uh, that could be an issue. Like I said, uh, you know, when we go look back at practice this week, Wednesday was probably might have been our worst practice of the year. And that's kind of disheartening as a coach because obviously the, the, the game that's on the line and everything's on the line in the game on Friday to have that. But – as you kind of look back, I got a day to kind of think about it and go back and review practice. And, and some of that could have been, obviously, if you know anything about Mace County, they do a lot of formations. So there's a lot of identification there. And obviously, uh, with practice being cut short Tuesday because of the weather, we didn't have our full uh, time to get it all lined to everything. So yesterday, maybe we were just a little confused, and that made practice seem a little worse than it was. But, uh, you know, I'm looking for a great practice uh, Thursday uh, to, to refocus those guys on make sure we get lined up correctly. Okay, so our last uh, go around here, let's talk about Mason on both sides of the ball and things you think you'll have to do. Uh, obviously, number one, defense, we're going to have to recognize formations because uh, Coach Buchanan does a great job of manipulating personnel. Uh, then we're going to have to make sure that we don't allow the big play. Uh, they got their starting quarterback back the last two games. They came back from a knee injury, and he uh, has got a nice arm, and he's very dangerous in the passing game. So we've got to make sure – uh, that we play coverage, and if they do complete some balls, come up and make a tackle. You know, again, make them earn their way all the way down the field. This will give up those cheap ones. Offensively, we got to control the line of scrimmage. We we did somewhat last week, but not like I'd like to. We got to dominate up front uh, and make sure we're able to run the ball, especially with the conditions how they're going to be. But again, it's a great opportunity for our kids. Uh, you know, they've really worked hard. You know, my assistant coaches have really worked hard to, to help put us in this position. You know, it's ours to take. You know, now, but again, we got to go beat a very good ball club. Good luck, TJ. We'll talk again next week before Lewis County. Thank you very much.